Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are finishing the second townhouse that Miss Griffey made. Her links will be in the description below as always. So this is for my Sims sibling Avery. Um, I also gave him, well in my head, he's like a programmer. I didn't make him a programmer in the game yet because that was on my mind at the time. But his garage is filled with like a computer. I think the bag of money comes from the criminal career, but I don't know. He, he, I don't know. Anyways, I also give him a toddler bed because I want him to like adopt a toddler. So right now we're working on the kitchen and I'm just getting some cabinets. And for some reason, I wanted the counters or appliances to be different from like all of the homes just to look different I guess um if you live in a townhouse I'm assuming like you know they built it all together so you're probably gonna have the same counters stove sink and fridge and cabinets but I don't know what was going through my head at the time so I just really wanted to, to be different I didn't want it to be looking the same but if you live in a townhouse or apartment it's most likely gonna have like the same appliances and stuff encounters so I changed the counters I don't know how I feel about that I don't know how you feel about that but if it bothers you you can change it I guess and if you do use these townhouses you could like get roommates I suppose I mean in case you don't like I mean it really depends on how you play but I just want it to look different so yeah so right now I'm all placing these items on the counters um also this is at a lower speed I feel like I usually put my builds on like five times speed. I think this one is on three times or two times one of those because like I don't want my video to be lo too long. So like right now I'm working on editing this big old house and it's like 30 minutes and I don't know if people want to watch that. Mind you it's on five times and I am cutting some parts out that. I was either taking too long or it's just not needed and so it is like 30 minutes right now so because usually I put it on five times and then I'm like oh maybe I can try to put it on three times to see if it's too long or not because I don't because I feel like sometimes it's moving too fast or my camera is moving too fast and it's just kind of like bothering your eyes too much so i am using the get famous furniture in the living room i mean okay i don't know like he's a programmer i'm thinking like maybe he makes a bunch of money from this like i don't know if you can actually make a lot of money from programming because i never tried it but assuming that you do he he's made a living off of this and he has nice furniture he has very nice furniture but he lives in the townhouse because i guess in my head he's he doesn't want to like live too he doesn't want to live in a mansion or a big house because that might be too suspicious. Like, how are you affording that? I feel like he's a freelance programmer. Like, they're probably thinking he's not making that much money off of that. When really he hacks into people's bank accounts, stealing money or whatever. I don't know. Or creating viruses. I don't know. Anyways, so he doesn't have a TV. I give him a, um, a radio. I don't know what you call this exactly. Don't judge me a record player I mean I like seen record players before but they're not like this whole big thing like it's the small ones that you could just like sit on the desk or something I don't know but there's also a plant I realized that I talked about him being a programmer in like the first part but I mean I don't know I really don't do voiceovers that much because it's just like what do I say what do I talk about I have no idea so I do put a painting up here again from get famous a lot of this stuff is just get famous I don't know I just wanted him to live nicely so I end up getting this painting right here and I get three more seats I believe um, under the painting they're like little ottomans or something but right now on the coffee table we're gonna put a mug and blankets yeah just trying to remember um in his backyard like I said I really should probably stop talking about things when I'm not there but 
maybe we'll save it for later we'll save it when we get there because hopefully this week the sims post a new roadmap by the time you're seeing this I don't know when you're seeing it. You might see it Monday because I missed an upload. So I couldn't tell you if you're gonna get a full week of videos since I missed it because I recorded a lot of these townhouses because I wanted to get it over with, but I also don't wanna post them together because it might be too much. But if I post it together, then I can already upload it to the gallery. I don't really know what I'm planning to do like maybe I post this Monday and the one on Wednesday and the one on Friday and then I have two more videos to post on Tuesday and Thursday so I don't know it depends if I can even get it edited but right now I am going to put I don't even know what I'm gonna put right here I think I was trying to like look for statues to like decorate the corner because it was kind of like it was empty so maybe I end up putting a chair and I also put black curtains from the movie Hangout Stuff Pack. But yeah, I really hope they give us a roadmap this week. I also want a patch this week because for one, console controls are not... There should be an option in the game to like control which controls you want, you know what I mean? So you can pick which controls you want to use with. And I also wish they fixed a lot of the bugs that is bothering me. One is the check mark. Because I feel like if you stay in the house too much... And then you finally want to travel. The check mark is missing. So you have to go to manage worlds. And then visit that way. Like you don't have to go back to the house. You just have to pick on the location you want to go to. And then visit. And then choose the household. And then yeah. But it's just annoying. Like it's not like more loading screens. But it's still annoying. Because. But right now we are in the office space. Which is the garage. So, I ended up putting in a cheat, bb.ignoregameplay unlocks entitlement, I think that's the cheat, to get the money back in the back, I think. So, yeah. But in the roadmap, I realize I keep mentioning the roadmap, and then I talk about something else. I don't know what's going in my head, but I do want a patch for them to fix the checkmark bug. Because it's pretty much missing for a lot of things that you need to check mark with. Like taking photos, creating events, traveling, taking a vacation, traveling with other people or whatever. It's just, it's terrible. But on the roadmap, I mean, I'm assuming we're getting kids because we always do. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I love the kids. I love them. And the thing is, well, they're $5 in the U.S. And I know for some other countries, they're, like, way higher. So, like, if you were to convert another country's currency to the U.S. Cu currency, it's, like, way more expensive, which I don't know why they do that. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, why can't it all be the same price? So, like, if it's, if it's $5 USD. It should equal five dollars for another currency you know but apparently that's not the case i don't know the reasoning but i still think it's stupid because that's crazy because five dollars for me i feel like that's not bad money to spend on a kit that you like but i know for other currencies like that's expensive like i understand that but i just love the kits i want a shoe kit a heel kit like shoes heels nice heels actually I just, there's this CC creator, and by the way, if you don't know, I'm on console, but there's this CC creator. I don't really know their name or whatever they're at, I don't know, but they make amazing shoes, and I want it in the game so freaking bad. I also want a hair kit. I don't really play with male sims, but I did see someone say they want just a male sims hair kit, which is understandable and I can also see people wanting a male outfits kit since males barely get anything I'm not going to lie I don't really play with males that often so and it's hard for me to make males in general anyway so I just I don't know I like playing with girls I guess I just like playing with feminine sims I just like the feminine outfits and hair so I play with them a lot more 
I'm not gonna lie, this is probably terrible. This is terrible. But in one of my gameplays, I literally changed the gender as soon as they became a toddler. Because I was like, I'm not having this. I'm sorry, but I don't want to play with the male. I couldn't make them transgender, but that wasn't on my head at the time. So I probably will do that if I really don't want to play with the male. There's nothing against males. It's just in the game, I don't enjoy them. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a girl myself and I very much enjoy being a girl. I don't know. But now we're in the toddler room. I don't even know if we did the outside yet because I've been talking my head off. I want to, I want to, I want a hair kit. And I want both male and female hair. I know that's bad. We really need male hair probably, but... And if we do get a hair kit, I want most of the hair to be afro textured. I will, I always die for that. Like in the Growing Together pack, all of those afro textured hairs were perfect for me. Like it made me so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, we need more of this. We need more. I don't care. We need more. Anyways, continuing, continuing talking about the roadmap. I... I don't know if it's going to be a game pack. We're supposed to get another expansion pack, but I'm assuming that's later in the year since we just got one. So I'm assuming kits maybe. Maybe a base game update. I don't know if we'll get a game pack. I mean, they're pretty done with stuff packs, but I don't know. Maybe they could come, Maybe they can make a comeback. Who knows? But if it is a game pack that we're getting, hopefully, or maybe not. Maybe they'll wait for summer since it's spring right now, I guess. So like April, May, June, I don't know. Anyways, I, they've been, I don't want to say they've been teasing horses because I don't know how I feel about horses. Cause like what all would we get? Some people want it in the expansion pack, but it's like, will it really be worth $40 for horses? Like what all are we going to get in that pack? That's my main question. Like a game pack, I guess maybe they could fulfill it with horses and other stuff. I don't, I never experienced horses in The Sims 3, so I wouldn't know. But like, they've kind of been teasing horses because someone on TikTok made a comment about horses on The Sims TikTok page and then The Sims tweeted a bunch of horses and it's like, I just, I don't know. I don't want to feed into it because obviously the Sims social page doesn't, them replying back to someone a full of horses doesn't really give us a thumbs up about it. But yeah, I just passed on the toddler's room. Um, I wanted to go for a space theme at first, but that just didn't work out. I just, I don't know. I feel like so I went for this like lighter blue color and now we're on to this bedroom. Um, so I used the rug from my first pet self. I don't know, I really like it. It just has some basic colors, I guess. I don't know, but I gave him some photo frames in here above his bed. And I also put a keg stand because I was thinking that maybe he's not past his university years. Like he wants to keep a memory of it because it meant so much to him, even though he didn't go to college, but that's the story. That's the story. But in the comments, let me know how, like, what do you think is going to be in the next roadmap? Because I don't think they're going to give us, like, like, big packs for every roadmap, like a game pack. Like, they'll probably give us kids because those are smaller. So it could just be a base game update. Because, like I said, we did just get an expansion pack. Like, we don't need another big pack. That's a game pack or... Yeah. So, maybe it's just the base game update. And horses are later. If we do get horses. I'm really curious what the next EP is. And I'm really hoping it's not about horses. I know that's bad. I just don't know how they can make it a full worth the expansion pack with just horses and knowing the sims no offense if we get horses i pray to god they work i'm gonna pray they work because i just i don't know like 
cows and llamas are stuck to the freaking thingies. I'm assuming horses won't be since I'm assuming you could you should probably be able to ride them because if you can't it's not even worth it at all at that point. So it's like hopefully they don't glitch or stretch or break I don't even know. Please be good <laughs> please. So now we're on the outside area. Um, I'm thinking Avery is the sim that holds game night because I believe I put a game table here. I don't. Do I? I'm pretty sure I do. Or was that the last house? No, this is the house I put a game table. I'm like 100% and I also gave him a bike. Yeah, so he's the sim who holds game night. So yeah, we've talked so much surprisingly. And I also have to do another voiceover for the next townhouse. But um, the video is ending and let me know in the comments how your day is going. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!